Hey guys, this is Matt with 4hydroponics.com and today we're going to be talking about lighting controllers, uh, amperage, voltage, and wattage, um, how best to use your amperage, and the difference between 120 and 240 volt power. Uh, first, we're going to be looking at the HID Hub by Blueprint. Um, this little box will allow you to run 4,000 watts off of it when it's uh, wired to a 30 amp breaker. Um, your other option is to wire a dryer plug to it and plug it into an already dedicated 30 amp breaker um, that's meant for a dryer. Uh, a lot of people have those in their house and they're not being used and that's a really simple way to go ahead and just get 30 amps right to your lights without having any kind of headache. Um, these come with the 240 outlets on them so you would need to swap your cords out for this unit. Um, and then it has a trigger cable that comes off of it that plugs into a regular 120 volt outlet and a regular 120 volt uh, 24 hour timer. Um, that timer is going to be the thing that actually turns on and off your lights um, and this is just going to be getting the power to it. Um, and the larger version of this is the HID Hub 8 site. Um, this will be wired to a 50 amp breaker um, instead of a 30 amp breaker um, and then that's going to allow you to run uh, 8,000 watts um, on uh, 240 power. Um, once again there's a contr one trigger cable that runs off there that would be plugged into a regular 120 volt one uh, outlet and a 120 volt timer um, and that timer would control all eight lights um, turning them on and off for you. Um, if you're wondering about how amperage works we'll talk about that real quick. Um, amperage uh, is calculated by taking the wattage of the device and dividing it by the voltage used to power it. So if I'm running a thousand watt ballast and I'm using 120 volts, 120 volts I would divide the two giving me 8.25 approximately um, a little bit more or 8.3 um, amps. Now if I double the voltage to 240 and I divide the same 1000 watts, now I obviously have half that amperage. I'm down to you know about 4.1 or a little bit less than that. Um, so how does that apply to you? Well, if you have a 30 amp breaker in your breaker box and you want to use that amperage as much as you can because you can't add any more breakers or the house only has 100 amps of service and um, you want to maximize that, well, by halving the amperage um, on things or doubling the voltage, that allows you to spread that amperage out farther. So uh, the average person usually has you know a couple of breakers in their basement and maybe a 30 amp breaker that they could use. If they use that 240 uh, volt uh, power, um, that can just go a lot farther for them and they won't have to add anything or if they can't add anything then they just get the most out of it. Um, so next up we'll look at is the Titan control systems and uh, they have the uh, 240 four light controller plugs into a 30 amp, or wires to a 30 amp breaker um, but they have the universal plugs on them um, because this is actually doing the 240 for you, the plug going to your ballast, it can be the 120 style or the 240 style, um, you're still going to be running 240 as long as you're using this and it's wired to a 30 amp breaker. Um, this particular unit has their timer built into it, um, so the timer is right on the front for you and it's going to do all the on and off for you. They also make uh, another version of this that doesn't have the timer um, and then it has the trigger cable. So if you don't like having the timers built in, some people would rather have them be separate. Um, they do make a version of that as well. Um, and then the this one has the uh, switch on the front, um, that little on and off switch right in the front there, and that'll allow for easy like lamp maintenance, um, swapping out of bulbs, things like that. And then it comes with uh, the last benefit that a lot of people like about these is the small 120 volts plug right here on the front. Um, so the timer, the off switch, and then your 120 volt plug. That's a low amperage plug. I think they've set aside maybe an amp or so of the whole system for that plug. But that allows you to plug in things like fans or filter fan combos um, that you only really need to run when the lights are on. So the whole, whatever's plugged into that will run on the same timer as the lights are running. Um, and then uh, from there we'll go to their bigger unit, the Helios 8. Once again, they do make a unit with a timer built in. This has two trigger cords compared to this one over here. It only has the one trigger cord. So um, the benefit of that is that because there's, you can power eight lights, um, theoretically you could have four lights to one side of one room, four lights to the other because the two trigger cords allow you to separate the eight light system. Um, this one does not have the on off switch because it's a split system, um, but it does have the universal plugs, which are nice. Um, this needs to be wired to a 50 amp breaker. Um, all these have really re easy uh, panels that you can remove to wire them. It's not hard to get in and out of them. Uh, they made it really simple for you. 
Um, and then last but not least, we'll look at the Helios 2. This is um, a four light controller, runs on 120 power, um, and this needs to be wired to a 50 amp breaker. Um, because we're running 120 volts, our amperage is quite a bit higher, and so to compensate for that, this needs to be run on 50 amps versus 30 amps for the 240 version. Um, but this takes the 120 volt plugs, 120 volt, uh, 120 volt devices, it has the uh, plug on the front and the on-off switch on the front as well. Um, so I hope this cleared up some of the things you've been wondering about, maybe amperage and voltage and wattage. Um, keep in mind we're paying for wattage. Um, voltage and amperage are just ways to use energy to make your stuff more efficient. Um, on, a, on that note, um, 240 volt does run your equipment more efficiently. It will produce more light out of your bulb. So you are getting a little bit more out of the electricity that you're paying for. So that might be a way to justify, you know, saying it saves me money or, or it's more efficient. But in all honesty, we pay by wattage and it's just how efficient you use your amperage. Um, so I hope this video cleared some stuff up. All these and more lighting controllers are available on our website, 400 Um Come check us out. We'll see you next time.